video on the downward X. Okay, what we call the downward X. Other systems call it Ocho, Ikis, the infinity pattern, um, lots of different labels. But basically it's down, 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 right? Very simple, very simple. But you'll use it lots, right? You'll use it lots in fighting. I mean, you'll smash, and of course you're gonna come back that way. Or maybe you'll come horizontal, but right now we're doing two diagonals, okay? Now, when you understand that, there's many different ways to throw that strike. When I say many different ways to throw the downward X, here's a lot of different examples. When I understand patterns, I can make them fit with the weapon that I want to use, whether it be a knife, empty hand, or a blunt impact weapon. The downward X is one of our very basic patterns, but even this super simple pattern can lead to so many different things. And that's the beauty of conceptual martial arts. By understanding a concept, we can make it fit into a variety of different situations. The biggest thing is developing torque for blunt impact weapons or for edged weapons, laying the weapon on and drawing it across the target. If you're cutting, if you're stabbing, you want to hit with enough force to penetrate and possibly twist the weapon to break the suction of the wound. Right now I'm just trying to illustrate how one simple pattern can do so much. If you understand that with a simple pattern like the downward X, you can expand on that ideal. You can expand on it to um, examine different aspects of fighting, different strike patterns, footwork, um, I mean, it's limitless what you can do with this just by understanding how a pattern works and then applying it with imagination and knowledge. Now, with all this that's going on in this video, I have to tell you, this is just the tip of the iceberg with the downward X. And if you apply this concept to all different aspects of your martial arts, you'll see you don't need a huge curriculum, but what you do need is time to train things and the ability to look beyond the surface and find the abstract and explore your art. This is what I love doing, and this is what makes Filipino martial arts a lifetime discipline for me.